Hey everyone, Astro Kit here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about your moon sign. And if you guys didn't already know, your moon sign is really one of the most important parts in your birth chart. Um, your moon sign is really your inner emotions. It's the side of you a lot of people might not see. And your moon sign really shows you how you think, how you react. Um, it's really like your inner world. So in this video, I'm just going to explain how that applies to your moon sign. So if you guys want to find out the traits and characteristics of your moon sign, keep on watching. And I also have a website where I post blog posts about each topic I talk about on my channel. So if you guys want to read a hard copy, I do have a post on my blog site already. It is called theastrokit.com. And then also on my website, I have my services. So I do do natal chart readings um, and I do a bunch of other services. So if you guys want a natal chart reading, um, go ahead and click the link down below. But for now, let's just get into the video. Okay, so let's talk about moon in Aquarius. Okay, so really quickly, just to recap, your moon sign is really three main things. And that is your emotions, how you react, and your mental state slash like mental process. So with Aquarius Moon, um, you take on a lot of like Aquarius traits, but I will say the main trait I see among a lot of Aquarius Moons is that you're very detached. And I know that's like the stereotypical characteristic for Aquarius Moon, but when you have a sign like Aquarius in the planet of the moon, um, the moon is your emotions, your feelings. So when you have Aquarius, it's very detached. It's very unconventional. It's very unique. In your moon sign, it's kind of like that um, energy is almost magnified. So when it comes to your emotions and the way you react to things, um, it's in a very like abstract way. It's in a very detached way. You're not the type of person to be very emotionally invested into things. Um, you're not the type of person to have emotional outbursts or emotional reactions towards things. And it's because like, I almost have this vision of like, you have emotions, right? And then you have expression of your emotions and your moon sign really shows how you express your emotions, right? So it's like, that's very, it's like almost far apart for you. It's like very detached. It's not like, it's not like Cancer Moon where it's like, okay, their emotions and their expression is one thing. For you, it's very much like, uh, separate and given your Aquarius moon the expression of your emotion is very unique to you the way you emotionally respond to things or react to things it might be kind of it might be kind of like not normal to some people you're kind of like why are they reacting like that it might be just just seem kind of strange but to you it makes sense somehow because to you you're already detached from your emotions so you're not gonna like react in a very stereotypical way you're not gonna react in a way that pleases people so overall going with this whole theme of like detachment it's like your mental process or your mental state you almost have this ability to kind of see the bigger picture like again i feel like i'm just getting these weird visions with aquarius moon but like I almost envision like an eagle flying over something like the eagle can see everything right because it's flying above it and I feel like you have this special ability to really see the bigger picture and not to get too emotionally entangled into something and it's almost like your mental process it's like you see the bigger picture you see um, the larger picture of humanity you see the larger picture of your community and given that I feel like your perception is very much based on how you can improve things or the improvement of a group or improvement of the collective like I feel like you don't like your mental process is not very confined it's not small like you're thinking about the entire universe you're not just thinking about your neighborhood you know what I mean and then also with Aquarius moon as I said earlier the way you might emotionally react to things might not be like the typical or the stereotypical way of reacting to it so I feel like a good example of that is like if you're an Aquarius moon, um, if you go through something emotionally or you go through an emotional dispute with yourself or with others, um, you might, instead of like having an outburst, you might change your hair, you might cut your hair or change your appearance in some way. Because naturally the way you deal with your emotions is in a very unconventional way. And on top of that, you're an air sign. So you're very used to change. Um, you can change your appearance. You can change your emotions very quickly, very easily. You're not the type of person to be very stuck on your emotions or stuck on one appearance. So yeah, I feel like one of your greatest gifts is being so detached and really having this larger perception of your emotions and larger perception of the world. And not just perception of the world, but really how you fit into the world, like how your consciousness fits into the larger consciousness. And also you're a very intelligent person. Um, like I said earlier, you're not really thinking small. You're thinking about the bigger picture. A lot of times I feel like you're thinking as at a higher level because naturally you're a very innovative person. Aquarius energy is very creative. It's very innovative. It's very much like the first of its kind or the first to do something. So the way you think naturally, it's just in a very expansive way, in a very unique way, in a very 
innovative way. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Go ahead and comment down below your moon sign and if you resonated with this video. And don't forget to visit my website. It is called theastrokit.com and if you guys want a reading with me, you can go ahead and book it through my email and my email is linked down below as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in my next video.